Discontent in Greece on what was meant to be a good news day. For some, it ended in the hands of riot police. The focus of their anger, this man and his promises for the future. Earlier in the day, in Greece's second city of Thessaloniki, Prime Minister Andonis Samaras said the economy was back on track. He said revenue will exceed spending this year, excluding debt repayment. And he promised a return to growth in 2014 and an end to six years of recession. But the thousands of protesters who gathered outside think he's out of touch with reality. And even if he does make good on his promises, they don't agree with his methods. The economic reform program the government's agreed with international lenders has faced waves of protest. Thousands face losing their jobs by the end of 2014 as part of efforts to slim down the civil service. The reason that we've come here is to send a message to the government that uniformed personnel are in a drastic state. Unemployment in Greece is at 27%. Teachers and workers' unions, fire brigade members and coast guard workers, all worried about their jobs and refusing to be placated. Emily Thomas, BBC News.